courtroom drama delivers some of TV's highest ratings. So this dark reality, a Hollywood scriptwriter's dream. Sordid, star-studded, saddening. At the heart of this brutal seven-week court battle, contradicting claims over domestic abuse. It just hit me over and over and over again, and I got really still. And it felt in my body, like, quiet. And I thought, this is how I die. Never did I myself reach the point of um, uh, striking Miss Heard in any way, nor have I ever struck uh, um, any woman um, in my life. You'd be forgiven for a sense of deja vu, as in the summer of 2020, disturbing evidence of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's violent and messy marriage was poured over at the High Court, as Johnny Depp took on the sun and lost. The judge ultimately deciding that the newspaper was justified in describing him as a wife-beater. So this case, the sequel, and the evidence again has been shocking but its impact felt way beyond this courtroom. The unique nature of Johnny Depp's fan base securing huge influence. Depp's fan base has acted as his external PR arm. Uh, the Justice for Johnny Depp hashtag has been really popular on, on, on Twitter, and it's been a way of people spreading information and creating a bit of sympathy for Johnny Depp. So I think they've been really active, and I think he owes them a check or two. Depp's star power dwarfs Amber Heard's, an imbalance that has led to his ex-wife being vilified online. Depp's lawyers are using a tremendous amount of resource to get a message across that she's a broken woman, she's unstable, she's a psychopath, she's untrustworthy. None of this is directed towards Johnny Depp. The campaign against me that's echoed every single day on social media, I receive hundreds of death threats regularly, if not daily. Thousands since this trial has started people mocking, mocking my testimony about being assaulted. Perhaps the most profound performances of their lives that could well spell the end of their careers. I have a feeling we will see each other again. A verdict with little victory when the battle has been so brutal. Katie Spencer, Sky News.